Hi everyone, my name is Genki Miyauchi and I'll be presenting our work which is titled Sharing the Control of Robot Swarms Among Multiple Human Operators, a User Study. As we continue to push the use of robot swarms in the real world, it is important for us to think about how humans can effectively use these systems. Potential scenarios such as firefighting or search and rescue missions can require a group of human operators to work alongside robot swarms and instruct them to do various tasks. We are interested in the case where multiple human operators are dynamically sharing the robot swarm with each other depending on their current needs. For example, a person may want three more robots to perform a certain task, which can be fulfilled by another person who currently has many robots. Sharing robots between operators can be challenging when they cannot directly communicate with each other or when their situational awareness is limited. In this work, we conduct a user study to investigate how human operators can effectively share a swarm of robots under these constraints. Our scenario consists of two leaders and 20 simulated robots. The leader is an agent controlled by a human operator. The robots are split into two groups, as indicated by their colored rings, and follow one of the two leaders. A leader and its robot followers form a team to navigate an environment together. We consider a bounded 2D environment that consists of tasks that need to be completed, which are represented by the pink transparent regions. Each task requires a specific number of robots to complete, and they can be performed when the leader and a sufficient number of its robots remain inside the task region. Completing a task makes a new task appear in a random location. The human operator's goal is to complete as many tasks as possible using the robots. In our previous work, we developed a robot swarm that maintained connectivity between freely moving leaders. The robots autonomously form an ad hoc network that allows the operators to communicate with each other. They also enable the operators to request or send robots to the other leader, which allows them to dynamically share robots with each other. However, the leaders have so far followed a predefined trajectory and no human has been involved. In this work, we study whether this robot swarm can be used effectively by real human operators. We developed a novel user interface that presents a local perspective from the leader's point of view, limiting the operator's situational awareness. It also displays information about the teams, the current task, and provides functionalities to request or send robots with another operator. Our user study involved 52 participants who were randomly paired to form a team. We split the participants into two groups, where in one group they were able to communicate verbally, while the other group could only communicate using the interface. Each pair completed two trials with and without the ability to share robots. Here, we show the two communication setups. The first half of the participants in direct communication sat close together and were allowed to freely talk with each other. The other half of the participants in indirect communication were separated from their partners and were only able to request or send robots through the interface. Here is an example performed with indirect communication and robot sharing enabled. The top shows a global view of the environment, which was not provided to the participants. The bottom two show the actual user interface controlled by each participant. We can see the operators scanning the surrounding environment and moving towards different tasks to work on them. We also see the operators sharing robots with each other when they encounter a task that requires more robots than is currently in its team. These robots join the other team by traveling along the communication network maintained by the robots. The operators continue to work on the tasks until the time limit is reached. Our results showed that human operators were able to share robots with each other to complete tasks even when their communication and situation awareness were limited. We found that human operators with the ability to share robots were able to arrive at tasks more quickly, reduce the total distance traveled by the robots, and provide flexibility for the pair to work collaboratively and independently depending on the current situation. We hope to perform further studies involving human operators working alongside real robots. Thank you very much for listening.